Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions. Welcome to this tutorial for the LSP Watermark Kit. This kit is for you if you use online galleries or you want to protect your images from your clients downloading them and using watermark removal software. This is a new update after rigorous testing uh, using the most expensive AI watermark removers online we've updated this kit. If you've already purchased in the past you can simply log into your LSP Actions account and re-download with all these new watermarks added to get the latest version. If you're brand new here hello welcome to LSP. Let's keep these digital paws from stealing your images. So let's get started with how to get this all set up so you can use it any time you need to protect those galleries and choose the best watermarks for you. In this video, we're using Photoshop. I'm going to show you how you can set up the actions, the pattern files and place these overlays in really easily and also how you can record your own version of doing this so you can quickly batch and apply to any images you need. You can watch um, our other video tutorial explaining how to use these in Lightroom and you can also watch our explainer video showing the different watermarks included and a little bit more information, a bit more of a chat so you can easily choose the one that you'd like to use. Another thing you can do with these is you can upload these images, these overlays here, direct to your online gallery provider software um, and put the settings in. You need to check if you use online galleries, if your software allows this, it normally does. So you can just upload these um, and apply them to your images when your clients view their galleries. So let's dive in. The first thing you need to do is download from the LSP Actions website. Let me just grab this for you. Uh, you'll notice you need to download the LSP New Watermark Grid and Overlay files and the LSP Actions. You have some instructions here. This is just a text document if you need a refresher, but we're going to cover this in the video. If you're on a PC, you need to right click and choose Extract All. If you're on a Mac, you can double click to Extract. If that doesn't work, use your Archive Utility option. At this stage, I recommend you'll get this unzipped file this extracted file, the zipped up means um, Photoshop can't use it, but it's a quicker download for you. So once you've unzipped, I really recommend saving this to somewhere, you know, on your computer, somewhere safe and secure, where you're always going to be able to access. Let's take a look inside. Inside you have two folders. You have the LSP Photoshop actions and pattern files. This is if you're going to be using these in Photoshop. You also have the LSP New Watermark Overlay PNG files. A PNG is a portable network graphic, I believe. This just means it's got transparent background to it. These are your anti-AI watermarks. Let's take a look inside the Photoshop pattern file. Inside this folder, you have um, several files. If you're techie, um, it's cool, it's always exciting seeing files. If you're not that technical, don't let this overwhelm you, it's totally fine. So you have, um, these are our original diamond overlays. These are PNG files. I've popped them in here because these came with the original. I'll show you how to use these in Lightroom. You have the LSP watermark overlay action file. You have a diamond watermark pattern file and a grid watermark pattern file. The most important thing when setting up for this one, if you're going to be using the grids over your image, it seems like this is like, oh my God, it's, it's a lot to do. It really isn't. All you need to do is have Photoshop open, double click one pattern file, double click the next pattern file. It might seem like nothing is happening, but these are installing. Double click the watermark overlay actions. And what happens is you've actually just added these all into Photoshop now, and they're there for you to use whenever you need. Sometimes in the future, Photoshop might update. It might wipe everything. It's rare, but it can happen. If that happens, you get any error messages, just log into your account at LSP, re-download them for free, and just double click to install. Really, really easy. That's that part done. So if you can't see your actions panel, come up to Windows and hit Actions. You're also gonna to want to be able to see your Layers panel. So make sure you've hit Layers as well. On the window, it's basically the window means your screen, the Layers panel and the Actions panel. So let's get our Actions up. If you're in Elements, um, your Actions will be a paler colour. 
They might look a little different. If you're in full versions of Photoshop, they might be free floating. They might be pinned into one of the sides. They might be up here in your layers panel. I like to have them free floating. So at this point, I'm going to just grab my actions and drag them out. The grid watermark actions will appear at the bottom of your actions panel. You can hit the little drop down folder. Let's scroll down a bit to see what's inside. If you're in elements, you click the action. I've put these little play icons next to the actual actions because there's some information inside here too. An action is a series of pre-recorded steps you can play over your image. And I've just recorded everything in here so you can use them. If you're on elements, you can click on one of these actions and hit the play button. It will be at the top of your um, action panel, little play icon. In full Photoshop, I do prefer to use button mode. So you can click on the little burger menu, hit button mode. If it looks a bit crazy, kind of like this, just grab the side, pull it in till it snaps into a nice neat column. I'm going to go down to the bottom. I have a lot of actions. That's why it looks very busy in there. And here we have our watermark actions. This is if you want to use Photoshop actions to help you apply. You can just drag and drop these watermarks over your images. So the first thing um, we're going to want to do, of course, we have all of these watermarks included. I'm going to get to these, but let's just go through a little bit of setup. I recommend resizing your image for websites. We don't need to be uploading the full resolution um, image for your clients to view or for your social media. Full resolution um, images, the large size images, they're after purchase. They're the images your client gets or they get them in the package. So the first thing I recommend doing, um, whether you're in Photoshop or Lightroom, is creating a set of images that are resized for web. I've got three images um, to go through today with you, three very different images. This one is mostly a white background with fur, which is going to be great for showcasing um, anti-watermark removal and which watermark you would choose for an image like this. An image where our subject is sharp, but the background is very shallow depth of field. And a newborn image with um, a lot of facial detail and a busy background. So we have three very, very different images to look through. So we were saying about resizing your image for web. A new web size image in Photoshop will create um, a new web size image in a portrait um, um, crop ratio even. I'm going to put my teeth in today or a new web size image landscape. Landscape is long, portrait is tall. These are all landscape images, they're all long, so I can just use this one. So I'm going to click new web size image landscape. You can batch these, you can click on our um, LSP Actions website on our blog and find out more about how to batch um, Photoshop actions over open images in Photoshop. So you might have a whole ton of them in here that you want to do the same steps with. The reason I recommend making a new web size image, not just resizing what you've got, is if you accidentally save, you've lost the high res. So make a new web size image. I recommend this for your online galleries anyway. We just click the action and it's done. Here's our original, here's our web size. So now we know we're not gonna save over the original. Next up, step two, we have apply your chosen watermark option. So you can click on instructions if you want to, choose and apply a watermark overlay, and I've put a little save for web um, action in here to make things easier for you as well. I've also popped a record your own. Um, so you can use this. I'm going to show you exactly how to use this very, very soon um, to record your own. But we're going to keep this basic for now because I don't want you getting overwhelmed with all these options. It's I know it can seem quite complicated, but really it's not. I'm just giving you a lot of different options. If you don't want to use the actions, just find my folders. If you don't want to use the actions in Photoshop, if you open the LSP new watermark overlay PNG files, you can just grab one to drop it over your image, um, which is really, really great. So for example, if I put webbed on here, we've got wavy, webbed, secure, ultra secure, busy and intense, depending on the level of protection you need. You can just drag this in. I'm just going to resize and hit OK. And at this stage, this is one 100% opacity in your layers panel. It's come in as a layer above your image. You can bring this opacity down. It's finding that balance between, you know, allowing your clients to be able to view the image 
and protecting it. Of course, the higher opacity you go, the more protected your image is. But you might feel, um, depending on your image, that it's obscuring too much. It's finding that perfect balance. So we've applied it. And you can go ahead and use the Save for Word option, Save for Web. If you click this, you'll get Save for Web come up. Choose JPEG. I like Convert to sRGB just in case. Don't worry about resizing anything. If you hit Save, it'll open up your folders and you can choose where to save this. Or you can come File, Save As, Save as a Copy. And you can just call it File Name or Gallery, Image 1, whichever, you know, whatever you want to name it as. This is just an option for you. If you want to use the actions to choose and apply the watermark overlay, you can simply click this, locate your downloaded files and open up the new watermark overlay folder. And you can choose the overlay you're going to want to add. You'll very quickly find your favourite. It really does depend. Now these have been created as well with some text in some of them. It is illegal to attempt watermark removal. That is the first step in applying a watermark is you want to deter your client from even trying it. What you'll notice happens when you play the action to apply. If you just drag and drop, you get the, um, the watermark come up, which is great. It's fine. The action actually creates two layers of the watermark for you with layer masks. With opacity added in, again, you can change this. It also adds a secondary layer called turn up opacity to make me stronger. If you want really strong watermark removal, if you really need to protect these images, if you've had issues with a certain client in the past or you know you've, you keep having problems, this is when you can really protect. It's entirely up to you. It's finding that perfect balance between how protected your image is and how well your client can view the gallery. And you can go ahead and save. Record your own. We're going to get back to this one. Now let's go down to our extras. These are our original um, overlay grid. These use pattern files to create in Photoshop, which means you can batch really easily um, over open images, but you can also drag easily. For example, here, you might have a few images open. You can just drag, drop, and if you need to resize, you can go edit, transform, and you can just resize this. There's so many ways to get an overlay into your, um, over your image in Photoshop. So the optional grid overlay pattern, you must have the pattern files um, installed. Do you remember right at the beginning of this video, after downloading and unzipping the files, we double click the pattern files, we double click the actions. In order for this to play, you need your pattern files installed. So as long as you've double clicked them, it will work. If you haven't, you're going to get trees or leaves or something <laughs> like coming over it. So if that happens, just take a deep breath, delete the layer, open up your download folder and make sure you've double clicked diamond and grid patterns. Just double click, they'll be in Photoshop. So here we have our LSP grid watermark for websites, our LSP diamond watermark for websites. These are just different ways of creating a watermark. They're a bit more subtle and uniformed than the anti-AI pack that you get with this. So I'm just going to click diamond. It's just quickly played out and there we go. Done. Copyright. You have three layers. I'm so sorry if you can hear my little birdies cheeping in the background. You can hit double click to edit text. You can double click, you know, if you want to put your um, photography name. You can leave it as copyright if you want to. You can also um, adjust the text, the text size or anything like that if you wanted to. Or Control or Command T. In Photoshop, you can transform the size of anything. Oh my goodness, the birds are going and now the dogs are. I'm so sorry if that <laughs> probably sounds like it's outside. Then you have these two watermark grids. You can change the opacity. These are pattern files, which is really, really cool, which means they adapt to your image. You can double click these. You can change the size, scale, the size. These are a completely different way of working than overlays. These are our new patterns. You see they are obscured before it was much more uniform like this. We've added extra protection in, but you can, you can see here in your layers panel, you can just turn things on or off. It makes it really easy to work with and batch using pattern files. So that is another way you can add anti-AI. 
You can also add a mix of these if you wanted to. Entirely up to you. You'll find your own perfect blend. Again, it's finding that highest level of protection whilst not obscuring your image. And if you watch our video going into more detail about AI watermark removal, you'll see that it's not um, something that is like threatening to topple our industry because the quality, if you use the right watermark, the quality the client gets is awful. And then under this, you also have save for web. Again, you can click this to save the image for web once you're happy with what you have as a watermark. Let's get on to record your own. This is an option. Um, if you want to, if you found the watermark you really love in our collection, you want to apply it to all the images really quickly, I recommend recording your own action. And I've set up for you here, so you can just go ahead and do that. The first thing you need to do when recording a new action, we're getting a little bit more manual now, is come off button mode. If you are in Photoshop Elements, you can't record your own actions, but you can in full Photoshop. So record your own here. You can hit instructions if you want to, how to record your own watermark placement. I'm just gonna show you the best way to do this. I remember recommend clicking here, play, record your own. And you hit the record button. That's this little circle. So we're now recording. I'm gonna go up to file and hit place embedded. This will open up our folders. Locate and choose the overlay PNG file you're gonna to want to use. I'll look through these, find the one that you think is best for your images. I'm just going to drag this roughly in and hit double click and it's in. At this stage, if you want to do anything more, you can. If you know that you prefer a lower opacity, you can turn this down. What you're doing is you are recording steps that you then want to play out over any other open images at Photoshop at any point in the future. The most important thing before you start moving stuff around, before you start saving, is to hit stop. Otherwise, it's going to record all that and play it out again over your images. So hit stop. Now you can see you've placed the image, the correct image. So if I was to open up another file now and I play record your own, I hit on the play icon, it's done it. It's replaced it in. You see here? All done. So you can use that, um, record your own, just as an optional bonus from me, um, if you want to get a bit techy and do something that's going to make it even easier. And you can use file, automate, batch, play the action uh, from the grid overlay, action, record your own, source, open files, and hit OK. And that's going to play out over all open images and you are good to go. So that's how you record your own. Let me just remove these and make sure you save. I just recommend using these that you resize your image for web, apply your watermark or use our pattern files that are included, whichever one you want to do. The pattern files will not protect quite as much against AI watermark removal, but they will protect against screenshotting from your clients. It's entirely what you feel comfortable using. We've provided a lot of options here. You will not be using all of the options, but you might do at certain times, certain points, depending on the image, depending on the gallery, depending on the level of protection you need. Do feel free to post in the LSP Actions Facebook group if you have any questions about using these. Always happy to help. It's the LSP Actions Editing Group for Photographers on Facebook. You can watch these videos anytime you like. I recommend if you're a Lightroom user watching our Lightroom video, where I show you how to upload and add these as watermarks in Lightroom. And you can also watch our explainer video where we go into more detail about each watermarks included, including some footage um, of AI watermark removal and what you can expect to see and the results you can expect to get. I hope you love these. Um, I hope they really help when it comes to protecting your images. I look forward to seeing you over in the other video tutorials. Any questions again, please just ask. I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching.